which sexual orientations do you believe should be prohibited from Missouri classroom? So I believe, this is my personal belief, that we all have a moral compass. And my moral compass is compared with the Bible. Lady, I believe during your testimony, you said that you didn't want teachers' personal beliefs entering the classroom, but it seemed a lot like your personal belief you would like to enter all Missouri classrooms. Uh, So I'm just going to read you the, the language in your bill. No classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties relating to sexual orientation or gender identity shall occur. Um, Lady, you mentioned George Washington. Who is Martha Washington? His wife. Under your bill, how could you mention that in a classroom? So to me, that's not sexual orientation. Really? So it's only really certain sexual orientations that you want prohibited from introduction in the classroom. You have to make that better, to make it where you're not talking. Lady, I didn't introduce your bill. Okay. Uh, and I, I didn't write it. You wrote it, and so I'm asking what it means. You can believe something without, in, without, in, without putting that onto somebody by the way you behave. And you can have beliefs and morals and values that guide you through life. I, I don't dispute that, but I'm asking about the language of your bill and how it would permit the mention of the historical figure Martha Washington. Could you explain that to me? So what does she, what, why is she famous? Is she famous because she's married with, to George Washington? It seems like that would be a relevant fact in her biography, yes. Could it be mentioned under the plain reading language of your bill? Is that a no? I, I, I don't know, sir. Okay. Uh, what about... Are you familiar with the historical figure Harvey Milk? No, I'm not. The first openly gay elected councilman in San Francisco, first openly gay elected politician in the country. Um, He was never mentioned, I guess, in any of your classrooms. Do you believe that that story should ever be told in a Missouri classroom? I have no idea, gentlemen, because I I don't know his story. Okay. Well, maybe you should learn about his story, and maybe other people should learn about his story. I don't know that they could under your proposed language. Um, Are you familiar with the Oberfell decision? No, I am not. Seems like that should be something that that people know about. Um, It was a landmark decision by the Supreme Court uh, expanding the substantive due process and equal protection clause to protect same-sex marriage. Uh, wouldn't you say that's relevant to American history? About same-sex marriage? The Oberfell decision. I could not tell you at this time. Okay. Well, um, I, I think it could possibly come up on an AP government test. Uh, it certainly came up in law exams when I went to law school. So in in that sense, it would seem to be relevant to American history. Do you believe that, that students in Missouri schools should be able to learn about the Oberfell decision? So would it be connected to the state standards? Have you looked to see if the state standards would involve... Whether it's connected to no, state standards does, or not. because that's a teacher's responsibility is to teach state standards. I would hope that that our teachers teach beyond state standards, lady, but I'm not asking what the state standards are. I'm asking whether students could learn about the Oberfell decision under the proposed language of your bill. Could you explain that to me? Oh, I'm guessing no, they could not. It seems like the things that you want to prohibit are targeted to one particular group that you find disfavorable. Are there any other groups that you don't think should be mentioned in the context of, of Missouri education? Gentlemen, not that I'm aware of. Just this one. Okay, thank you. No further questions.